Hey howdy hey, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be ranking the queens after episode 3 of RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to like this video, comment down below how you'd rank these queens, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get this video started. <laughs> Hey there, it's Rosé from season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Make sure to tune in to the Sandwicher Hour. And while you're there, baby, make sure you subscribe. All right, all right. So, RuPaul's Drag Race season 13, episode 3 aired last Friday. And so I figured for today's video, I would do my ranking video and let you guys know how I would rank these queens after this episode. Again, these are not meant to be any form of hate, so please make sure to uh, not send any hate towards any of the queens mentioned in this video. Send them love and do all the good things. So, let's get into it. First, at number six, for me at least, is going to be Cut More Hall. Um, for me, the fashions were good, but... I didn't really see much personality, and also in the performance, she was the weakest of the queens, in my opinion. Um, her verse was not that great, um, probably the worst of the verses, um, of all of them, but, yeah, that's why I have Kimura at number six. Um, I'm gonna be curious to see if she's able to bounce back from this and do well in the fourth episode with the first elimination. I hope she can, I hope she can bounce back and do even better, but we will have to see. So that's why I have Kimura at number six. At number five, I have Joey J. Um, I really like Joey's performance, it's just the runways were not my favorite from Joey J this episode. Um, I understand Joey J doesn't wear wigs, however it gets a little bit boring when you continuously not don't wear wigs. And you wear four outfits in one episode without any wigs. I would have appreciated some sort of change. At least at some point within that. Like last week with Tina Burner. She was wearing red, orange, and yellow for the first three outfits. But at least on the final runway she changed it up and wore a different color. You see like at least she changed it up and showed some variety within her drag. That's what I was hoping more so from Joey J. I realized Joey J wore a wig from the first episode. But I would have appreciated to see some sort of different hair other than Joey's natural hair during the entire episode. Anyways, that's my own opinion on that. At number four, I have Utica. Um, I really, really like Utica's fashions this episode. I do feel a little bit like Utica's first was a little bit forgettable. I'm not saying it was bad by any means. It's just compared to some of the other verses, in my opinion, it was a bit forgettable. So that's why I have Utica at number four. Um, but then again, Utica's fashions were incredible. Really, really, really good runways. Um, so, yeah, no, I love Utica. So, again, no hate. At number three, I have the icon that is Tamisha Iman. Oh my god, the icon. We finally got to see her drag daughter, Tandy Iman Dupree, depicted in Drag Race, which was amazing. Um, if you're not seeing that video of Tandy Iman Dupree performing to um, I Need a Hero, go watch that. It's so good. It's so good. Um, like, Tamisha, icon status. Icon. Um, so, I, I love Tamisha, and I think she was an icon in this episode. So, way to go, Tamisha. For me, at number two, I have Rosé. Um, Rosé beat out Tamisha, for me at least, solely because of her fashion show, where her fashions were so good. So, so, so good. Her um, late day look was so good. Oh my god, I love that look. The pop art, like, not pop art, the um, cubist artist moment that we got to see was so good so good um I love Rosé from this episode like Rosé killed the runway in this episode so good at number one I have Denali I have Denali at number one because Denali's verse was the best verse from this episode point blank period maybe even best verse of the entire 
challenge for both groups. Like, it was so good. So, so, so good. Um, I love Denali. Um, such a good performer. And this episode was so good for her. Like, I'm obsessed with Denali. Um, if you checked out my review video, which I'll go ahead and link up here. Um, I got a cameo from Denali, and I love Denali. Like, Denali's an icon. Well, Denali's very, very, very good. I love Denali. Um, definitely go follow Denali. And also go check out Denali's, uh, Puss, Pussycat Dolls performance on ice, where she did a ice skating version of her lip sync. It is so good. So, so, so good. Go check it out. Anyways. Um, that brings me to the end of this list. Again, um, these are all my own opinions, so definitely comment down below how you would rank these queens. Um, this is not meant to be any form of hate, like I've said already, to any of these queens. They're all amazing, like, they're all doing the damn thing, and I'm so, so incredibly proud of all of them. Like, so good. So, so, so good. I only wish I could be at that level. Um, I did some makeup a little bit inspired by Denali's runway, or one of Denali's looks it i don't know if you can tell with like the blue and yellow anyways a little hint a little hint of denali inspiration anyways um like i said uh make sure to like this video comment down below what you think of this list and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and share this video all over social media let's get this channel growing even more and i'll be back here tomorrow with another video have a good rest of your day bye guys